Hello, my name is Luke with Cascade Transmission Parts, and I'm here today to show you how to install our Master Solenoid Service Kit for a Ford L60E. You can find these in many GM rear wheel drive light duty models. This is not a complete unit. We've disassembled most of this transmission and only left the pieces that are relative to the installation of this kit. This Master Solenoid Service Kit includes a 3 2 downshift solenoid, the wiring harness with the lockup solenoid attached, two shift solenoids, the EPC solenoid, the pressure manifold, and the PWM solenoid. This procedure will fit 96 to 06 applications. The first thing you're going to do when installing this kit is remove the pan and the filter. Once you've done that, you should have something like you see here. To perform this procedure and install this kit, you do not need to remove the valve body. However, in case you wish to install a shift kit or for any other reason, we are going to go over all the steps. If you do not need to remove the valve body, then simply follow every other step in this video. First thing you're going to do is remove all the 10 millimeter bolts holding the valve body on. There will also be three 8mm bolts right here, here, and here. There's no need to touch the 8mm bolts on the pressure manifold at this time. Before removing the pan, I recommend that you disconnect the wiring harness on the truck side of the transmission. If you haven't already, go ahead and do that. After you've disconnected the wire harness, there will be four tabs on the case connector. Compress those tabs and push the connector through. Once you push the case connector through, you're going to re gently remove the valve body. Once you drop the valve body, remove the two 10 millimeter bolts on the lockup solenoid. Be careful, as many of these units have check balls. As I mentioned, many of these units have check balls, and it is critical that they stay in the correct location to function properly. Do not touch any of these 8mm bolts. They hold on the separator plate, which contains the check balls in between the plate and the case. Once you remove the valve body, you're going to start by disconnecting the water harness from all the solenoids and the pressure manifold. You should be able to do this by hand. by gently lifting the latch and applying light pressure outwards. Sometimes it helps to have a small screwdriver. It helps to keep all the bolts in the proper location. I'm going to start by removing the A and B shift solenoids. These are identical and 100% interchangeable. You do this by removing this small solenoid retaining clip. Make sure you don't lose these because they do not come in the kit. Once you remove them, Gently twist solenoids out. Once you remove the retaining clips, gently twist out the solenoids. Be careful as there are valve trains behind each of these solenoids that will fall out. To remove the EPC solenoid and the pressure manifold, you need to remove these 8mm bolts and the 8mm bolt right here holding the fork that holds in the EPC solenoid.
remove the bolts and the fork. Gently twist out the solenoid. The pressure manifold has small rubber O-rings that seal the pressure manifold to the valve body. These must be clean and undamaged. Line up your bolt holes. and start your bolts by hand. Just do the two 8mm bolts on the bottom. Next we're going to install our PWM solenoid and our 3-2 downshift solenoid the same way we installed our two shift solenoids making sure that the PWM solenoid is on the top and the 3-2 downshift solenoid is on the bottom. When the valve body is orientated with the pressure manifold facing down. Next we're going to install our EPC solenoid. You do this by lining up the tab on the fork into the tab on the EPC solenoid. Once it's in place, start your bolt. Next we're going to install our wiring harness. Once you have it in the right position, Go through each individual solenoid and plug in the connector. Be sure to line up the tabs that go inside the bolts, the mounting bolts of the valve body. Once you've installed your master solenoid service kit, you're going to want to remount the valve body to the transmission case, install your filter, pan gasket, and pan, and then fill your transmission with transmission fluid while idling on a level surface. Be sure to check out our website at CascadeTransmissionParts.com. Also, like us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos each week.